Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. So today I want to show you a little tutorial on how to replace a word or a phrase of text on your website. So sometimes there's yeah, a case where you need to replace something like this that you can't do in the Nivium Builder. And we're going to show you how to do that with jQuery. All right, let's get started. If you're on YouTube watching this, you can click on the link in the description and you'll come over to the blog post. That's where we have the snippets. So that's where you're going to need to be. Um, like I was saying, there's some times where we need to replace a word or even a whole phrase. And I'm going to show you an example. Uh, now, a lot of times this would depend on a plugin that you're using. So in Divi, I, I mean, a lot of things you can replace, you know, in Divi, not everything. And I'll show you something. Um, but, you know, it might be something that you've added with with another plugin. And so there's no, you know, Divi module, there's, you know, nothing like that. So how do you do it? And that's how I'm going to show you. All right. So the first thing I have here is, is getting the CSS selector class so that we can then make sure we're putting the correct selector into our snippet down below here. So this step is really just something I prefer to do. It's something I recommend. I usually say like color red and just to highlight it and be like, okay, I've got it correct now. So now I can, you know, put it into the snippet. All right, so let's just show you that. I'm gonna be working with the Divi comment module. All right, so right here, you can see this is a blog post. I have the comment module here, and right here is some text. Now, if I wanna change this, right now it says submit a comment. Maybe I want it to say, you know, uh, share your response you know, or submit a response, some, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whether I want to change all of the words or just one word, I'm going to show you that with these two snippets. So the first one is replace the whole text and then replace a single word, okay? But the thing I'm saying to do first is to find this selector of this element, right? So we'll have to use the browser inspect tools. So we right click, inspect, and so I'm going to take, I'm going to click here and, and try to find this one. All right, so you can see when I hover over this, I'm getting a span tag. So that gives me a clue like, okay, so this this text is wrapped in a span tag. So I'm gonna need to remember to add the span to my selector. But then above it here is the class comment reply title. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna use my um, Chrome extension, it's called user CSS. And I'll say comment reply title and then remember span and then I'll put my curly braces and then I'm going to say color red and look it works so I have the right selector that's great so comment reply title and span is the correct selector that I'll then put into the jQuery so back here to the tutorial I'm going to go ahead and do this first one replace the whole text so go ahead and just copy that and then go into your the back end of your website right here, Divi theme options, click on the integration tab. And then right here, it says add code to the head of your blog. And we're going to paste the snippet there. And I'm going to make this a little bigger. You can see that in my code, I have selector. Now that needs replaced. And so does the custom text. So the selector we just showed you, we got this here. So let's grab this, copy that. And then replace that right in here in between the quotes, right? So now we're saying, you know, in the jQuery, we're going to basically find that selector and then replace the text. So custom text, um, that will replace the entire thing. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to click save. All right, and now I'm going to just refresh my page. Get rid of that. All right, and you can see now instead of submit a comment, it says custom text. So I could say whatever I want just by writing it right in here where it says custom text. All right, that was the first option replacing the whole thing. Back to the tutorial. Now I'm going to use this second one. Now in this second snippet here, it's a little different. We're going to add the selector twice right here, selector and then selector. And then again, it's a little different. So we're, we're going to put the word or text that we want to replace and in between here, right, in this first quote, and then there's a comma, right? 
and then the word or text that we want to replace this other word with. Okay. All right. So copy that and we're going to go in here and then make sure we get rid of what we had. We're starting fresh with this one. All right. Now, first thing to do is get that selector, which I still have here. So um, that, and by the way, we don't need to keep that there. It doesn't need to be red. All right. I'm going to come back in here, replace selector with the actual selector. Okay. All right, and now I have to decide which word or text I want to replace. So let's go ahead. Um, actually, let's. Um, so I remember I got to refresh the page, but um, sub, it said submit a comment. So let's just say, let's say I want to replace the word submit. So I would write that here. Submit. Oh, yeah, got it. Submit, and then I'm going to say share. So I'm replacing the, I'm not replacing the whole thing. I'm just replacing one word within that. Okay, that's the difference here. All right, now when I refresh, instead of submit a comment, it says share a comment. All right, and again, I could re, I could replace another word. You know, I could have, I could have said, um, let's see, I could have said comment, and response right so change the word comment to response I could have done that refresh this and show you submit a response all right so that's just that's how easy it is to do this so again I this here is still the original the first method I used replace this whole thing the second method is replacing one word all right and that's that's all there is to it so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you find it useful I'm sure there's a lot of situations that you'll need that it's just one of those things, it's not like you need it on every website, but um, sometimes even like in the sidebar, it'll say like recent comments or recent posts, and you might want to say something else, recent blog posts. You know what I mean? There's all these use cases, even in Divi, um, yeah, replacing any bit of text that you want, and that's how easy it is to do. And again, a lot of times with a, with a plugin, you'll run into like words that you're just like, it's awkward, you know, try to trying to change it otherwise. So anyway, I hope this was helpful and we do this every week. So be sure you're subscribed here and we'll see you all in our next video.